Hello, YouTube. How are we doing today? What's going on, everybody? Hello and welcome back to Wednesday Night Days Gone Expert Gameplay Live Stream Series Stuff. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Let's... Let me introduce... Claire Weaver. She's helping me out on the chat tonight. Uh, sometimes the, clack, the chat goes nuts. Um... so she's in here to help me out wait i think i just turned your mic off i think you may have are or i we... turned them i don't know if the mics are on or off now see you had to go messing with the buttons on the stream deck well, i was man. trying to hit the one that turned my mic on and i may have hit the one that think... turns your mic off so we... now i've reversed them can anyone hear me are we live folks i think we're... i think we're live echo echo penis echo <laughs> <laughs> We can hear you both. Yay! Outstanding. Well, that sounds like an excellent opportunity to say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. And before I fuck this up, everybody make sure you're on live chat. <laughs> uh, all right, let's say hello to Ducks Trio. CJ Voorhees, 93, WD Henderson, 8-Bit Terror, and Obscured by Ink, and holy shit, right here in just now, Borislav, 24-7. What's up, Borislav? Hello, everyone. Hi. How are you tonight? Me? Yeah, I haven't actually said hello to you. Oh, hello. Hi. You just you, you said like hello to me Like I introduced you, but... Oh, yeah, right. I, no. That's, hey, Jay Stabby and Darren count. Thompson are with uh, us. Check it out. Jay Stabby and Darren Thompson are with us as well. Nice. Hey, guys. But yeah, I'm doing good. Thank you. Yeah. I love, uh, I love being able to help you out with these streams. So I kind of like um, get to join in. And... Uh, kind of makes my week actually oh yeah i like i miss the feedback loop live streams where we'd kind of be equal partners on the stream i'm just your <laughs> chat assistant <laughs> lowly assistant oh yeah yeah that's that's totally yeah <gasps> wd is downloading days gone on the ps5 oh, right shit. now right on man right yeah. on nice <clears throat> you just couldn't <clears throat> stay away could you wd <laughs> yeah uh, I don't know if anyone's listened to, if you don't mind me just plugging the podcast real quick. I have oh, yeah, a new yeah. episode of Go Days ahead. Gone Podcast. And guess which bad motherfuckers get a shout out? I'll give you a clue. Three of them are uh -oh. with us tonight. Yeah? Yeah. Well, go ahead. Well, one of them is W.D. Henderson. No way. Yeah. He gets uh, he gets mentioned. We're talking in the, uh, the episode about the number of hours put in. Mm -hmm. And of course... WD have it. I don't know how many hours WD you have in the game, uh, but you definitely have a lot of playthroughs. Ah. And then, of course, yourself, Rex, and Boris Lab. Yeah, yeah. Having nice. thousands of hours. Boris, how many yeah. hours do you have in in the game? Because I think, Rex, you actually are like in third place at least. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, WD, uh, that's what I was just thinking uh, when Claire mentioned play hours. Uh, <clears throat> I was thinking now that you have a PlayStation 5, you will be able to see your total hours played. You go to your profile and which one was it? Profile games. games. And then it will show you on each game, uh, the number of hours played. And now, it includes the PlayStation 4. It does include the hours played on the PlayStation 4. Now, folks, keep, please keep in mind, this is not accurate for me. Because I own it on PC as well, and I've also played shit something like 700 hours on PC. Uh, so I have the 1140 you see here on PlayStation, and then also the seven or so on PC. But yeah, WD, you'll be able to see that on the PlayStation Five. It will keep up with your hours played on the uh, PS4. Now, the only thing I'm not sure of, I'm not certain how this works. Someone else, someone else may be able to tell us more. It may only count hours that your PlayStation was connected to the internet mm -hmm. and playing Days Gone. So I don't know if it's an, uh, like an absolute count of every hour a PlayStation has logged on that game or if it only counts while you're online. So Boris says close to 2,000. Yeah. WD says I think I have a little over 3,000. Would not be surprised. Yeah. Uh, Dub Rider 97 is with us. Hey, Dub Hello. Rider. Hi. And Dandy Denny. And Dandy Denny 07. Hello, and Mark Bruinton. Mark. What's up, bud? Nice. 
Ooh, CJ's moving on up those leaderboards. Rex asked, asked where I'm ranked in the Black Friday challenge last week. I'm now at 176 global okay. at 384 plus million. Damn. Say that again. How much? I got it. Three and over 384 million. Son of a bitch. All right. But that only gets you in the top 176 <laughs> in the global rankings. It's fucking wild, man. That's insane. Oh, WD probably has 10 playthroughs not connected to the internet. Holy okay. shit. Yeah, I don't know, man. It'd be pretty easy to research that and find out if it literally includes every single hour you've played mm. or only while you're connected to the internet. It should be pretty, pretty easy to figure that out. But. And if not, just take whatever hours it does say mm -hmm. and then add half again. Because if you've done 30 yeah. playthroughs, 20 online and 10 not, well, then the hours played is only going to show you two thirds. So yep. just add a add third. Yeah. yeah. Right. Add Real. half of that again. Done. Joe Schmo is with us. Joe Schmo. What's up, buddy? Welcome in, sir. So, Rex, do you want to explain uh, where you are in the game? Pay attention. Oh, yeah. You're about to crash. <laughs> don't, don't look at me when I'm talking. <laughs> look at the screen. <laughs> Sorry. Do you want to give us a little catch up where we are in the game? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, we are moving up the story uh, in the Lost Lake area. We have cleared the entire map. We've, um, uh, yeah, we've cleared ambush camps, infestation zones, Nero injectors. Uh, we've cleared all the hordes. Um, I think I had maybe just run off to do some camp jobs or something. I was kind of fucking off on my free time the other day, literally just, just playing for fun on this save. So, I don't recall exactly where we were at in the story. Here in a second, when we get to camp here, we'll take a look at the quest prog progression and all that shit. All the carcasses strewn in the road there. <laughs> yeah, we've been here recently. Uh, Joe Schmo has a friendly reminder to hashtag fuck top chat. That is a good reminder. Make sure you're on live chat, not top chat, because top chat is stupid. And YouTube insists on defaulting to top chat for no good reason. Nobody yeah. wants it. Please yeah. switch to live chat. The best feature you never asked for. <laughs> the best feature you'll never use. <laughs> you'll only use accidentally. <laughs> yeah, right. Because it is the default. And there'll be that one time when you've forgotten. So right now, go and check. Make sure you're in live chat. Also, if you wouldn't mind, while you're looking in that part of the screen, uh, hit like on this video. Yeah, yeah. It Please really, do make sure to like. Yeah, it really does help algorithm -y things <laughs> stuff. and stuff. And also, Rex likes to feel loved. I do. He gets so very lonely and so very sad when no I one feels special. His <laughs> yeah. Someone's coming. Uh, Joe says, sorry, I was a bit late, everybody. I was eating our awesome dinner, and then the kiddo. Well, we were definitely having a no bed situation tonight. <laughs> ah, Joe, yes. The no bed club. It's fun, isn't it? Ah. You know, I'm going to knock on wood here so I don't fuck this up, but Claire's gotten that under oh. control here lately. Her little fuck man has you. been doing great at bedtime. Fuck you for jinxing it. <laughs> hey, I knocked on wood first, man. See, fuck you. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. Going, <laughs> yeah, my kiddo's actually I'll been sick the past week, and now I'm kind of sick, and you're I'll kind of a little bit late. There's need. something kind of yeah. squiffy going on. Um, but he's still been a real trooper. I'm here if you need me, man. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely an improvement over how it was six months ago not even yeah not even uh, six he was, months ago he shit. Was, i think having trouble adjusting to new no situations mm -hmm. house hey, moves Blair, how that kind of thing uh i was having trouble adjusting <laughs> to now being in charge of bedtime and so that was that was never my thing i was never in charge of bedtime uh so i think it just was uh Kind of one of those situations where we all had to get used to things get used to the new situation uh, but yeah, Joseph, we're in a good routine now. World's best bounty oh, come on. Uh, we need to say hey. hi to Sean. Sean hey. Cola. What's up, Sean? Oh, he says, hey, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Long adverts with no ability to skip. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no. You got one of those. Like, I'm going to sincerely apologize for that shit, man. It is what it is. I, I don't have much control over, like, what YouTube shows. Sometimes I get ads that are like, you can skip in five seconds, and mm. then sometimes it's sometimes like, you, can't. you have yeah. to do a survey, or <clears throat> oh, you have God. to wait 30 seconds, or you can't skip at all. It's like, you. Well, okay. They just really want you to buy the, uh, whatever the fuck it's called, pay for YouTube subscription or whatever, mm -hmm. and they take the ads away. But you know they'll find a way to sneak them back in somehow. Yeah, probably. 
Okay, so yeah, it looks like what we have next is uh, going into Ripper territory with Schizo. Oh, this is cool. I'm doing this mission tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah? What oh, wait. It? Wait, which one? Oh, no. Which one are you This will be my first time going into Iron Butte with Schizo, I think. Oh. Is it, isn't that what this is? Yes, yeah. <clears throat> so where Schizo leads us into Iron Butte, uh, this is the first time I've uh, done this in this playthrough. Uh, so I haven't been to Iron Butte yet. That's what I'm saying. It's the first time I've been there. Well, you've done the Breaker. Mission. Yeah, yeah. That, I, I guess that counts. Yeah. All right. I don't want to do this mission. I actually hate this mission. I still hate this mission. Everyone's giving you shit in the chat for destroying the uh, no bed streak. Fixing it. <laughs> hey, I knocked down wood, man. Calm down. Okay, I guess we don't have a lot of choice. This is the only mission we have available. All right, um, hey, let me set everything up. So, spoiler alert, be aware this stream will contain some pretty heavy story spoilers. So, most of you in the chat right now will know that we're about to go into Ripper territory and get betrayed by Schizo. He's going to sell us out to the Rippers. This means you lose a lot of your gear, and um, there's... Pretty much no way to get most of it back. There's a chest there that does have some gear in it. Uh, some people claim to get all of their gear back. I have never once ever gotten all of my gear back from it. In shit, my at least do it. 15 playthroughs. Um, so I've never seen that happen. What I do is all of my placeable items, I just put them in a safe spot somewhere near the camp. I really don't want to have to go too far to pick them up. And let's see, is that all I got? I don't even have any proximity mines. Eh, that's for the better, really. Uh, then I'd just be all pissy about having to put them down. <laughs> anyway, I put them right here outside this camp. And I do immediately uh, make a save game. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to make a save game. So that way, in case anything fucky does happen, like if uh, raiders spawn outside the gate or something... Wolves chase me back to camp or some stupid shit. I don't know. Um, we'll have that covered. Tuck says, uh, go horde killing before going on this mission, which is what Already I... Already done. I like to, well, yeah, but that's what I like to do is use yeah. up those, um, some of your molotovs and things like that on killing hordes. Have you done the sawmill yet? Uh, no, I do that on my way out of Lost Lake. Uh, we'll do the sawmill and Iron Butte horde on the way out of Lost Lake to get extra bounties so that we have a head start with uh, Crater Lake. WD says, I never get all mine back. Yeah, yeah. And I, it's been speculated that maybe it's like if you have a full inventory, the boxes can't hold everything. But I, Oh, that might make sense. I, I don't know what the actual parameters are for it. I just know I get all pissy about losing my stuff. Where are we supposed to be meeting Schizo at around back? Okay. He seems like a backdoor kind of guy. <laughs> Claire's just shaking her head. <laughs> All right, I'm here. What do you want? Hold on. Come on, in here. Schizo, what's going on? Well, if you go inside, I'll show you. I love how Deacon thinks this is so shady. He checks behind mm -hmm. the door. Yeah. Hey, I've been thinking about your idea. You know the one where you want to seal the cave north of the camp to cut down on the hordes passing through our farm area? Okay. Problem is, Mike hasn't been able to find any deck cord for this, has he? No. Oh, WD, you stash all your stuff at the top of the Cascade Radio Tower? Damn, ain't nobody getting to that shit. Okay. Right it's safe there. No. <laughs> Dub Rider says I'm working, but also I was in watching the of and listening. Territory. Last cool. time I went through there, you got it meds that saved your boys' no. life. Give you something to think about. Give you something to occupy your mind while you're at work. Oh, well, we have Dub Rider with us. Do you mind if I say thank you to Dub Rider? Dub Rider was a recent contributor to my channel, and I really they fucking appreciate that. I gave you a shout out this morning, but I'm not sure if you were able to watch this morning's stream. So, thank you, Dub Rider. I appreciate it. 
and keep your ass out of trouble. Oh, CJ Voorhees, yeah, yeah man. Uh, he says those snare traps are why I never stop for any of the hunting quests anymore. Got snagged once and swore never again. You know, I did the same thing. I got got caught in one and was like, holy shit, that's the coolest fucking thing. You actually get caught in a snare trap. Okay, I'm never letting that happen again, though. <laughs> see, I did the opposite. I got caught in a snare trap and was like, oh, that's so cool. I want to see it again because it didn't happen until my second or third playthrough. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, But there's a... I really like uh, seeking them out. I really hope to find them because I love paying attention to the clues that you're following yeah. when you get the question mark and you have to go get the you know the magnifying glass. And if it's something weird and suspicious, like often it's clothes, like removed clothes, or mm. it's um, like children's toys, like the abacus, the teddy bear, things like that, like suspicious things, mm -hmm. you know it's a trap. So yeah. never the only the easy way to do it is where it shows on the mini map where you're supposed to walk to follow the trail. Just don't walk on that line. Walk a little to the side, and pretty soon you'll come across a suspicious pile of leaves under a tree, and it's like really obvious when you stand there and look at it. Uh, I actually did a little short video on my <laughs> channel recently mm -hmm. with uh, planting a proximity mine right next to the snare trap, and then stepping into the snare on purpose to see what happened. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, that video is great. I, I love that we came up with that idea to put a mine there and, you know, well, okay, you set a trap for me. I'm going to set a trap for you, mm -hmm. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> it actually didn't make any difference. Yeah. I think, yeah, the, I think it just almost killed you. <laughs> you woke I, up half dead. <laughs> I don't remember how I woke up, but I remember the marauder that got blown up was still there. Oh, wow. Like, I yeah. had to kill her again. So it doesn't really do anything. It just was satisfying. Yeah. Uh, Dub Rider says that he contributed, or uh, Dub Rider, sorry, he or she, I'm not sure, um, they contributed to you as well. Oh, wow, cool. I haven't got any notifications from Buy Me a Coffee, but I will have to take a look at that. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Damn. You guys are great, for real. Um, kind of a loss for words for a second there. Aww. For real, just thank you. Uh, we have we said hello to Passion Flower Percussion yet? That's what I was gonna say. Ah, that was up next, huh? APFB. Hey, oh, and we have to say hi to uh, Mrs. Joshmo. Oh, uh, hey, the wife is exhausted after a long day of work, so she won't be joining us. But she did want to say hi to everyone before she went. Ah. Hey, Hold on. Well, hello, ma'am. Okay, so there we have all of our little gadgets and gizmos piled up by the front door of the camp. Gizmo. Oh, let's fuck off and go kill some rippers, man. Yeah, yeah, I know way. Yeah, I'll be there. Deke, this is Tucker. Stop by. I've got work for you. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I hate this mission. Tuck, hey. I'm kidding. Okay. Let's go on and knock out this story mission. <laughs> oh, Obscure Bank says, oh shit, the Callisto Protocol is all downloaded. Oh, Hells yeah. Now, when does that release again? I thought it was on the 2nd, which is Friday. Okay. Uh, I noticed mine is sort of downloaded. I thought it was like an update or something. But maybe it's the game. Maybe it downloads it early. Yeah, you just can't play it. Just, yeah, you can't. That way, like there. at twelve fifty nine, whatever time it I'm actually drops, you, you can start playing it immediately. Camp, including my cabin. Oh, it Great. still says one day, Obi. Okay, yeah, I think it's the second. I found an old water which, depending on where you are in the world, maybe. See if I can outrun this runner. Can I hit this quest marker before the runner go, catches go, go, up go, go. to me? Yes. <laughs> that was close. Outran the runner. Hey, what are you doing? Dub Rider, what we'll, we'll check on that. Is go in through their goddamn back door. On foot? You never told me we were going on Interesting. foot. Interesting. Remember what happened okay. the last time you took your noisy ass yeah, bike Yeah, yeah, Dub Rider, we'll take a look at that, man. Thank you for letting me know. Good point. Shit, I'll check my emails right now, actually. Hey, they never even see us. So, uh, Iron Mike. Do you want me to follow Schizo for you while you're doing that? Nah, it's okay. I'll take over. I'll check my emails later. But yeah, Dub Rider, we'll look into that, man. Thanks for letting me know about it. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. 
Okay. You don't trust yeah. me I guess with Schizo? No is that what it is? Nope. Yeah, I don't trust you. you Let you get your hands on the now. controller while Schizo's oh, around, and they'll tell him what you'll get up to. We're just going in through what? What'd you call it? The goddamn back door? Ah, Joe says, yeah, it downloads and installs it, and then mm -hmm. basically has a big digital padlock on it. Mm -hmm. At midnight, release day, the padlock Eat disappears. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it went swell. Yeah, pretty much. Like yeah, I saw mine downloaded this morning, and I was like, what is that? I'm just, I rarely buy games. I rarely buy games digitally. I rarely buy them like pre-order i mean i'm pretty sure this is the first pre-order i've ever done that is digital like I, i've always had like the disc yeah, right. delivered said it wouldn't happen again and you believe him shit i can't tell you i mean i have pre-ordered one or two games but it's been a while i couldn't even tell you what i think there might be wolves there there might be some wolf carcasses here soon you think they're infected Yes, we're gonna oh, shit. I like the way you've got a smoke bomb out already. Mm. How'd you get through before? Yeah, I normally, I didn't think about this. So I normally do this with a sniper rifle. Uh, and I just stand right here and shoot them as soon as they come down. I don't have a sniper rifle this time, so. Eh, yeah, it shoot with the MG45. Yeah, that or the US 5.56. Am I supposed to? Oh, I'm supposed to get him up there first. That's right. I forgot. That's right. He wants to be safe and out of the way before we can do anything. Yeah. Wuss. WD says schizo in his yeah. back door. I know, right? <laughs> he seems like Go. a back door kind of guy, doesn't he? Got it. Look around down there. See if the ladder's there somewhere. I'll take a look. Guess I could have kept one okay, mine or something. We gotta be in and out of Ripper territory <laughs> before it gets light. Yeah? Tell me something I don't know. You bring him in a little closer since I don't have a sniper rifle. Wolves! I got him. All four wolves, one smoke bomb. That's the last of them. Schizo. Schizo, where the hell are you? Darren Thompson says Schizo. <laughs> Give me that damn meat. So I don't think, didn't we test this recently? Like three of them dropped right there in the same spot. Uh, didn't we Watch test this recently? You Got do it. not lose the meat. That's one thing that doesn't go missing on this mission. I believe so. <clears throat> That's cool. I like how you're about to go into Ripper territory with like, your man purse full of wolf meat. meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bloody steaks in your, in yeah. your back pocket. Yeah. I found a map in Mike's papers. I mean, how much Showing meat are you holding right now? Let's source. let's check it. I believe we did check it on the last playthrough and it doesn't go anywhere. But you're 14. 14. Right now. Okay. But I just sold every. That's literally what I got from these four wolves. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, like, I believe. Sure I think scrap like and meat you don't lose. Yeah. And I think, I think, think we like, checked maybe that. Maybe like flowers and plants and, plants and, and shit. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Hey, we have K Singh with us and Drew, Drewzilla. Oh, hey, folks, what's going on? And the Jameson Juice Box. <laughs> oh, shit, already. K Singh, Drew, Juice Box, what's and going on? William McCraney as and well. And William McCraney. Hey, hey, William, what's up, man? Welcome in, guys. Just a reminder to everyone switch to live chat, not mm -hmm. top chat. Yes. Make sure you're on live chat. And also, please do make sure to hit li a like on the video as you're coming in. <sighs> Yes, indeed. I know. I, I've, I have to be honest. I forget that a lot myself. Uh, I'll be watching Claire streams in the morning. Uh, I try to be active in the chats in there. And uh, when I come in, I'll forget to select live chat or forget to hit like. And then I'm like, fuck. I, I know have, better. Like, I, I have actually didn't like this video. I've said, please hit like twice. How dare you? <laughs> now I have. Young now I have. Lady, <laughs> young lady, we'll, we'll discuss the repercussions of your actions later. Rest in peace, get low, all that shit. Okay, okay. Uh, do you want me to run through? Joe has the links in there. Do you want me to talk about those or do you want to talk about uh, Yeah, yeah, we can do that because all we got here is like a long talky bit. You know, one or two serious cutscenes coming up in a sec. So I think we can knock it out before that happens. Where you want to start? 
do you want me to talk? You yeah, talk. go for All it. All right, uh, let's start with Buy Me A Coffee. Uh, so buymeacoffee.com slash Rex is the place to go if you want to support this channel, if you want to see this channel grow, if you enjoy watching Rex Rex's scr streams. Oh my God, I can't talk. <laughs> if you enjoy watching Rex's streams, please consider contributing. Uh, the link is buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. Uh, you can do a one-time contribution or you can become a channel member. Memberships start at a dollar a month, which is less per year than a single month of Netflix. Uh, so that would be $12 a year. Uh, there are various tiers. They go up from there. Um, you can take a look. Buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. Each tier has its own perks and rewards, so you get something for your money, as well as contributing and supporting Spornicus Rex. Uh, so yeah, go check it out. Buymeacoffee.com slash Spornicus Rex. And if no, you're on Patreon like as well, uh, he does have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Spornicus Rex. Um, that is the place to go if you want to. It's the same, exact same tiers, same setup. Uh, if you prefer Patreon, you can feel free to head over there and, and check that out. And do we have time to talk about much? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. There's so always it's, time to talk about our merch, man. There's official Spornicus Rex merch. There's also Days Gone inspired merch over at daysgonepodcast.threadless.com. Uh, go check it out. I don't yeah, want to talk yeah. over this cutscene. Get down, get down, shit. Yeah, this cutscene's not that awesome yet. It's not the cool one yet, is it? We got a serious Wait, one coming no, up yeah, here you're in right. a sec. I yeah. thought this was the serious um, one. Uh, so, yeah, go check out the merch. Mm. It's cool. There's good sure, stuff. There's t-shirts, tanks, long sleeve tees, sweaters, pins, stickers, mugs, art prints, journals, notebooks, kid shirts. Uh, you could have, you could dress your toddler or your baby <laughs> in a t-shirt that sure says, right fuck schizo. schizo. Yeah. You can do that. You have the power. Have the power. The power is within your grasp. The power of Grayskull. You must only seize it. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> so, uh, like, no bullshit, though. Um, the feedback from our viewers who have bought the shirts and the tanks and the tees and stuff, the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. Uh, I think there was one like a shipping, something like it got was, dirty in shipping. Yeah, there was a shipping it? error. I've actually had a shirt that got printed wrong ah. and I had to, because I've ordered quite a lot. Now, how was the customer service the, on the The customer on the service process? is excellent. So okay. I will say two things. First of all, the quality of the stuff is really good. I purposefully handpicked the good quality shirts, the good quality fabrics. You're not going to get that that nasty, stiff cotton, mm. that thick, mm -hmm. scratchy cotton. It's not that. It's good quality stuff. Um, so that is guaranteed. But if there are any issues, I mean, shit happens, you know? We had one thing that was shipped, and I think it, I think the package got damaged in the mail. Something got, It got stained or something, like, in the mail. Um but the company will immediately just replace anything. And they also, every time, uh, I think they give you like money off your next order as well, which is oh, kind of wow. cool. Um, okay. but, uh, but yeah, so if you do have any problems, just reach out to the company. They have excellent customer service. So you're guaranteed like, you know, it's, it's not cheap to buy merch. I know it's a, it's, it's a few pennies. Um, you know, it makes good Christmas present, that kind of thing. But <laughs> it, you, you are safe in the knowledge that if there is anything wrong with it, or even if you just don't like it, just tell them and they'll make it right. They do have really good customer service. Nice. Well, that's yeah. good to know. Yeah. Uh, we need to catch up with the chat. Uh, we need to say hello to Dogbone. Yeah, we do. What's up, Dogbone? Hello and welcome. And we also need to say hello to Old Lady D Geek. Good evening, ma'am. Hi. And did we say hi to Jess? Jess Castaneda no, is with is us. Jess here with us too. Hey, yeah. Jess, what's going on, man? Yeah. Uh, so Darren has a question. Yes. After you free and leave, certain leave the compound, ah. do you steal a bike and, and ride back to yours or run cross country? I take a bike. I didn't know you could the first time I played. Yeah. Yep, I <laughs> Actually, bike. I don't know how many times. I, I think just one. Yeah. I think just once. I did, did, didn't yeah. see the bikes. Yeah. I forgot you could ride other bikes. I don't know. I just, because the map kind of like shows you the, the path and I was just blindly following the ah, map and yeah. I didn't see the the rippers mm. on the road and didn't see the bikes. I was actually avoiding them. So I'm like, oh shit, I don't want them to oh, shoot me. Yeah. So I ran all 700 meters or whatever it was back to Los Lake <laughs> like a fucking dumbass. Yeah, no, for me, it's like, uh, 
<laughs> in days gone, you know, the bike is one of your greatest tools. And right. I, I, I hate having my gear taken from me in this mission. And I consider the bike part of that package. So being without a bike in the middle of fucking nowhere, literally in a map region that I didn't know anything about, had never seen. It's like, no, dude, I want a bike in this right. world. Right. Uh, I also wanted to get back to my bike as quickly as I could to get to the saddlebags to that you lose a bunch of ammo, too. So, yeah. Dub Rider's asking, are they 100% cotton? Um, I don't recall. I don't remember. I'll have to check because there are a couple different um, blends or, or cotton options or yeah, whatever. There are, there are actually different options available. There are, yeah. yeah. So I, I can check on that. I mean, I don't know. It probably tells you on the site. Um, but I can check and let you know. Okay, we are about to hit this cutscene. Okay, CJ says, I swear that Hey, It's Me is a Star Wars reference. Deacon is Starkiller in an alternate universe. <laughs> yeah, um, <clears throat> Deacon St. John is played by the same actor who played Starkiller in the, um, shit, what is that game? Star Wars The Force Unleashed? I yeah. Think so, yeah. Yeah, so Sam Witwer was the main character in Star Wars The Force Unleashed as well. I didn't play much of those. I played a little bit of each one, but I don't think I ever finished either one of them. Uh, they're both good games. I just never finished them. I don't get that reference. Joe wants to know if anyone's ever engaged the Rippers around the bonfire. Does anything weird happen? I do know that someone on Reddit uh, recently tried that and actually managed to find like a, uh, a way to glitch the game so you can... Mm -hmm. I think kill them or something. I forget what they did. But generally, I assume they just capture you or, or you know, you fail the mission. Yeah. If they see you. I've never been Jesus. seen, but... Yeah. Yeah, same here. Um, I, um... Uh, shit, I was going to say something. There's something in the chat I want to do respond to. Fuck, 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 fuck. I just lost it. What? Oh, yeah. Um... We are not leaving. Yeah, never mind. I wasn't going to talk over this cutscene. <laughs> Duh. Shit. Yeah, okay. 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 You got her. I got her. What? Shh, shh, shh. Uh, her legs are broken. She ain't going anywhere, bro. Knights of Finland is with us. We gotta get a move on. Hey, Knights of Finland. Just do it. Knights of Finland, hello. Hey, sweetheart. Sweetheart? It's gonna be okay. Oh, gonna be okay. okay. When, uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Shh. 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 It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Music in this film. Mm -hmm. We gotta cut back this way. Right. Yeah, I see uh, what C this CJ's comment there, uh, thinking of the, hey, it's me, when Drop Han Solo uh, says it in Return of the Jedi. Jay Stabby says, this game knows how to hurt me. Mm. Yeah. I like how in that moment... You know, at the beginning of the game, you have Deacon saying that he doesn't kill unarmed women, and here he just killed an mm, unarmed woman. Yeah. I mean, obviously different circumstances, but still, that's against his code. Yeah, I wouldn't consider that murder. Yeah, he killed her? Yeah. This line is, I don't kill unarmed uh, women. Same thing about murder, he's going to kill. Right. So I can't imagine yeah, that they, he feels good about what he just did. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's one line he has crossed. Because of Schizo. <laughs> Another line he had to cross because of Schizo. Yeah. Yeah. 
I love how Schizo mistakes those for freakers. Because he's not no, as familiar with freaks. Mm -hmm. he's than any of them. Uh, scar, just says at least Schizo did one right thing place. by being merciful in that scene. That's what I keep telling Mike. Yeah. You can't have a treaty with crazy people. I told you, Schizo. I'm not yeah, Deacon had to time, make Mike. him wait, though. Yeah, but knowing Schizo, he probably would have tried something stupid like just shot her in the head or oh, something. God, like, yeah. like, come on, let's get it over hey, with bang. Up. And then, oh no, look, there's let's freaks and rippers running at around. you. What are you talking about? Well, we have no idea what's in there. So WD says, I watched that scene like a train wreck. Today. I can't turn away. Yeah, mm. yeah, okay, sure. Why not? Take a look around and uh, see if you can find anything. CJ says, that's some bullshit with Schizo, willing to let the woman die, even though that's not why they are there. Think? How could Try you let some, leave someone to a fate like that? Yeah. And if, if I may give a spoiler, it's kind of foreshadowing uh, what wait, 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 Deacon you don't know what's in threatens Schizo with in the not-too-distant future. If you do the little side mission where Schizo's in the, uh, the cabin and you can go taunt him, I love this bit. This time of night, it'll be clear. Good night. <laughs> this guy just calmly walks behind you. I never saw it. <laughs> yeah. It but yeah, the idea of like Deacon threatens to drag him up to the the highway and in the middle of the night tie him yeah, up, leave him for the freaks. That can happen. And of course, that's what this woman's yeah, fate was going to be. Right. Left on the side of the road, tied up, left for the freaks. I owe you one. I mean it. No, no, forget it. Let's just go get the dead cord and get the hell out of here. Yeah, you got it, brother. Here, help me. We can get in through here. Oh, I don't know, man. Come on. Fine. <laughs> Oh, you think he dropped the door on purpose? Are we still going in there? I figured he was just a weak choice. ass bitch and dropped it. You ready? Yeah, right, Dogbone. I agree. Like, how do you turn your back on that motherfucker? You get under, I'll hold it. No, 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 you go. I got it. Go, go, go. go. Okay. Hey, hold it for me. Yeah, hey, hold oh, it for me. Yeah, he, he did drop it on purpose, didn't he? No effort to try and hold it up. Pull. Yes, Jim. Okay. No, that's all right. All right, uh, go around. I'll find a way to open the side door from here. Here. You know, really, I had assumed it was more Deke. cowardice. Just Deke. simple. I don't want to be in, down there with those wolves. I don't want to be in there with those newts. Uh, that kind of stuff, you know. It just dropped. Which is weird because you shot him in the head, quite also, obviously. There. There's still several of them. May I ask uh, what gun do you have? This is the US 556. Ah, you know you have your flashlight on, by the way. I do have. Okay. Just checking your new. Yeah. I turned my flashlight on earlier. I was like, what? Oh, what's this light? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the flashlight. <laughs> I never turned it on. I was like, what's happening? Ah. Uh, there we go. Oh, shit, there's still more? Damn. 
Where's he? Where's that last one? I see you. Dandy Denny says, I think Schizo tried to kill Deke several times during this mission. I don't know, maybe he figured it was better to give Deke dead to Carlos, or maybe he just didn't want to let Deacon have a chance to escape. That's yeah. a really fucking good point. Inside a warehouse with he a bunch probably of was hoping that it would just be just an accident. Mm -hmm. Kind of like uh, Torres and uh, mm -hmm. whatever his name is in the in the mine. Yeah, we like tried, a, but Freaks got him. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure Schizo managed to just sort of like hold back a little bit and it's like, mm -hmm. you, you go ahead and check. Oh, yeah. wait, you're dead. Oh, no. I'm, oh, I'm sorry, bro. Okay. Here, here, the door's unlocked. Yeah, Dandy Denny, he, the Deke would die accidentally on okay. purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a little newt, right? Oh, Knights of Come Finland, on. you heading out? Uh, let's just uh, find All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Dogbone says later in the game, Deacon gets accused of enjoying killing newts. Uh, but I'm going to confess, I love watching you kill the newts. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of have fun with it, too. Hell, Claire was doing it this morning, and you got some with a Molotov or something, didn't you? And you could just hear them up there burning and oh, screaming. Oh, yeah, them screaming. Ah! It's, yeah, it's kind of... What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Foreman's yeah. office is up. Well, Knights um, of Finland, uh, enjoy your history show, man. We'll yeah. catch you next time. How we'll are we see you later. Get up there? Uh, come on. CJ says, this? plus, if Deacon wait, wait, was killed by wolves first, or newts, it would prevent him there. from having oh, had to me. pull the full yeah, heel turn okay. in a few minutes. Yeah. So Schizo gets to eliminate... Eliminate Deacon... Uh, oh through God. a genuine air quotes okay. accident um, that he can report back to Iron Mike and be like, Find oh yeah, I did. we got up. separated, there was a room full of newts, I couldn't get in, there was nothing I could do. I tried yeah. to help him, brother, Watch I tried. Uh, and then I assume with some deal with Carlos, whatever deal he's made, there must be some sort of contingency plan. Or maybe he could just deliver him dead. Or Schizo thinks he could deliver him dead. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Look, Deacon's literally in the air. He's leaping into this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, wow. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> Can you, if you turn yeah. it a little bit so we're looking more at Schizo, because he's got a real smug look on his face. Kind of like a, mm, I'm cool, bro. See that? He just looks so, so fucking stupid. <laughs> I would increase the aperture. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. There yeah, there we go. That that cleaned it up. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I couldn't help it. <laughs> <laughs> CJ says, uh, "Deacon." So anyway, I started swinging. <laughs> that did it. <laughs> the extreme version of kiss, cuddle, or torture. <laughs> hey, this has got to be it. Yeah, that's a wallpaper. Bingo. Here, hold this open while I grab it. Why don't I just grab it? Why you so long? Trust me. Yeah, Jess, I agree, man. If they do a Not movie afraid. of Days Gone. I do. I really hope they Let's can get, get the some of the actors. You know, I, I just realized something about the scene. Up? Yeah, what's up? So he Skizzo, makes Deacon I, hold I open the thing so he can grab you. it, and there's that line, uh, "What you still don't trust me?" And he's mm -hmm. like, "Oh, you know what? Actually, I do." Um, Jesus, just, I always liked that moment because uh, I, mean, I like how their relationship has exactly kind of changed. I, I do genuinely like, believe Schizo in the moment that he kind of does trust Deacon now, at least trust him to not 
steal the deck cord while mm-hmm. holding the schizo standing right there. Yeah. But the thing is, it's, it's not just about showing that moment. Schizo needs the deck cord in his pocket so that when Deacon say he can't stop Carlos from taking Deacon off and be like, oh, wait, 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 I just got to get something out of his pocket. Like, he's yeah. got to make sure he's, he's got to have it on him. Yeah. 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 Darren Thompson All says, right, don't fuck crazy people. Yeah. Camp, why don't you look? What are you doing? I'm sorry, buddy. It was the only way. <laughs> David uh, is with us. Hello, David. I uh, was thinking of trying to complete the game without riding the bike. Hi, David. Shit. Well, that's going to be challenging. I think that would be a fun playthrough. I'm actually tempted to do that. You've early, mentioned that before. Only yeah. game, it would be hard as fuck. Well, I mean, you walk about as fast as the bike drives early game, so. But you can't sprint. <laughs> oh, I am. And you. Oh, yeah, you can't no. sprint very far yet. Yeah. If, you, if you're going to do a uh, fresh start, you don't have, like, any health upgrades or anything like you're that. You No skills. You could very easily get My murdered. Followers. Hundred times, you know, have all given up running through names. the cascades, except for me, for now. Uh-huh. Carlos, <laughs> Dandy Danny says, "I love it." Deke is trying to make friends, and Skizzo's like, "Yeah, about that." <laughs> Trail. Trail. <laughs> yeah. Jesse. Jesse, goddamn Williamson. Jesse, what the fuck? I kept my name, and I kept my memories of how you and Boozer and Jersey Jim held me down. Watch yeah, Drew, I imagine you'd have to make an, uh, an exception for those know. bits of the game, because there's certain bits of the game where you have to be on the bike, but... Oh, yeah. I remember screaming, it's okay. Yeah, the, the Highway 97 hordes I also on foot. I remember something else I entirely learned Entirely on day. foot, no something saddlebags even. Yeah, I don't know, man. Everything about you, everything that makes you who you are, oh, it can be burned away. Until nothing remains. WD is playing Days Gone on the PlayStation 5 for the first time, folks. WD Henderson. That's why. What what is this, number 30? Playthrough number 30? That we're starting on the PlayStation About 5? time you got a PlayStation 5. I know, <laughs> man. <laughs> Joe says, I've said it once, I'll say it again. Why is there no set up for us knowing who the fuck Jesse is? <laughs> Agree. do this without booze, are we? We gotta finish this together, the three of us. Oh, yeah. King of the grudge holders, <laughs> Williamson. <laughs> yeah. And what? About a dozen ago. Oh, Drew, you're playing Days Gone for the first time? Maybe. Oh, that's right. Flashbacks what or something to tell odds? us what's really going on here, yeah. The three of us. Oh, Scott White you really did a good job Boozer as Carlos. Yeah, still agreed. alive. He also plays Jim. Brought together here. Rent a cop, Jim. Rent Jim, 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 Jim the rent cop, oh, Jim. That's the Boozer. same I actor. Shit, yeah, I forgot about here. that. I've been trying to get him on the podcast, but he doesn't check his social didn't, media yeah, messages or he doesn't respond. Or he doesn't want to. Yeah. Mm, this is number to talk thirty-two to him. for WD. <gasps> Well, Indeed. at least we're starting off on an even number. That's I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Boris, I think that's quite controversial. Boris says Jesse's actions here are pretty justified, given what they did to him. Yeah. I yes. mean, yeah, but what they did payback. to him, they did because he murdered one of the members of the club. Yeah. So... I mean, there's, you know, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Like, when does this end? You get into The Last of Us. The Last of Us 2 kind of morals here. Yeah. Uh, Payback for payback for payback for payback. I ever cared about is dead. Lisa, listen to me. Do you know 
where we want to be. Like Danny Danny says, Joe, do you want another slow walking like flashback? Flashbacks. And Joe says, if it sets it up so that the face reveal here actually made me gasp, then fuck yes, I do. Maybe they, they did, yeah, maybe they did and it got cut. Yeah, lost. we know a lot of stuff got cut. Ace is cruising us with us. Ace Hello. <laughs> Sony's pissing you off. We need Days Gone too. I, I don't... I wouldn't hold your breath. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it'll happen one day. I like to think that it will happen one day, but it's not happening anytime soon. Yeah, I know. Sad face. Lisa. I know. I'm with you. Lisa. I want Days Gone 2 as well. I want Days Gone 2 too. I want Days Gone 3. <laughs> No, I meant Days Gone 22. Oh. Oh, really? <laughs> By the end of the month? Yeah. I like how you don't actually have to kill any of them here. Did that guy just disappear? Nope. There's a weird glitch. He kind of jumped a little bit. This bit can be a bit fucky for me sometimes. Like, every now and then you'll get spotted in a place where you're like, dude, there's, I should not have been spotted there. We carved it to set you. We have the Murphy with us. Murphy, what's going on? Old lady D Geek says Jesse knew the code and what would happen if he broke it when he joined the MC. No, Murphy, that's actually a good point. We carved it. I didn't get to read it out yet. <laughs> um, Murphy says, but Carlos wants Deke and Boozer alive, so he can't torture them to death. I don't think Schizo wants to piss off Carlos by killing Deke himself. Yeah. Although, I also wonder if maybe Schizo knows that Carlos is not the smartest person. Um, unhinged, yes, but he also... Schizo kind of wants him a little unhinged. There's, he's playing a lot of games at the same time. Like if Schizo comes, uh, sorry, if if Carlos comes to Lost Lake, then that's a win for Schizo as well. Like every part of this plan, anything that could go right or go wrong for Schizo is a win. That's how he operates. Yeah. Um, but I wonder if part of it was like, well, if Deacon dies, air quotes, accidentally at the hands of the newts or some freaks or whatever, um, then, you know, I'm sorry, bro. I tried to get him to you alive. Surely this is going to be good enough. Um, he probably thinks he has some way to spin that, some way to convince Carlos to accept it. I, I see another angle there where let's say he takes, Schizo takes Deacon into Ripper, tor Ripper territory here. The Rippers do whatever, snatch Deacon, take him, whatever. Then he... <laughs> Schizo comes back to camp and is able to then enrage the camp mm. against the Rippers because, like, look, man, they, you know, they they took our boy Deacon, man. Right. Uh, right. We got to go get him, you know. I also think if Deke died, that actually, I, I wonder if, if, if Schizo does know that Deke is going to get tortured, I wonder if he was in part trying to get him killed, killed so he doesn't get so tortured he doesn't by get the tortured. fucking rippers doing him a air quotes a solid, favor yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, like, a solid well at least i get you killed easy at least i delivered you dead do you know what carlos like wanted to do to you <laughs> like i did you a favor uh fucking asshole but it's like any way you look at it any angle schizo gets a win Dogbone says, my heart always beats faster when I'm doing this mission. Mm -hmm. uh, CJ says, did anyone know why there are two people playing uh, listed for playing Lisa? I always hear Laura Bailey when she speaks, but there was an, uh, another actress listed with her. I've noticed mm. that as well. I actually I don't know. I wonder if there was some extra scenes they needed or, um, I don't know, they couldn't get Laura Bailey for some reason because she's fucking busy. Like, her, her credits... You know, her schedule is probably packed. She's always working. So maybe she just got hired on something else and wasn't available. And they had to get someone to stand in. I love this scene. <laughs> Fucking ripper. 
I'll take that. Oh, I was thinking it was the other one with the with the jacket. Yeah. yeah. Right. Got a question for you. What's Kay the Singh says it huh? you just drag would be cool here. if Fuck the bunkers across the map were connected underground. Could be a cool feature in you know Days Gone 2. Hmm. Uh, given the evolving the freakers as revealed. Jesus Christ. Oh, hello. Yeah. Got another question. Uh, the source of the thing, you know. Where's my cut? What? My cut, my leather jacket, my fucking leather jacket. Who took it? Don't? No. Okay. Wait, 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 he just left. You just took it and left not long ago. Join us, brother. <laughs> this is it. Which way? He just left. Which way? Yeah, Dandy Denny, that would be Schizo's idea of a mercy kill. Uh, Jay Stabby says, with Deacon dead, maybe Schizo convinces Carlos it's easier to get to Boozer. Yeah. Uh, we have Ken with us. Ken Proke. How the hell am I going to get hey, Ken. Ken says, I love this section of the game. Yeah. There's a lot going on here. It's tough to get through it, even though I've done it so many times, says Ken. Yeah, it can still go wrong sometimes. Mm. Even when you think you did it right. right. It's like sneaking into Lost Lake for the first time. It can still go wrong, oh God, it even still when does. you think you did it right. We will cut away your soul. Thanks. CJ says, the thing is, is Schizo really trying to start a war with the Rippers considering how cowardly he is? He had no trouble uh, going after Lost Lake because he thought Deacon was taken out of the picture. Yeah. He is, Schizo is on everybody's side. I'm sure he thinks, or he has Carlos convinced that, you know, Schizo's going to join the Rippers or something. <laughs> Jay Stabby says, lay off the nest residue, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Drugs are bad, okay? <laughs> Daddy Danny says, also, I love that Deacon puts his hat on and then his clothes over it. <laughs> Rex is sneezing his demons <laughs> out. Expel the demons. Good lord, man. Well, they always come in threes. Uh, Ken says fucking rippers. I sort of wish the Jesse story were more fleshed out. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Oh, wow. Damn, Ken. Ken says he's been reading uh, some of your posts on Reddit. And uh, meaning to check out the podcast. Well, this oh, is a criminally fine. underrated game. Me, yes. Been it since you have to oh, nice. How many playthroughs do you have, Ken? Do you understand me? Yeah. Go! Yeah. Now, welcome in, Kim. We're glad to have you, man. Well, CJ says, Evolving Freakers. I love how they messed with Schizo's flares in the mine, but can you imagine an MG55 oh. wielding breaker coming oh, at you? Right, listen. Run as fast as you can. Stay off the roads. Keep moving no matter what. Go. Dandy Denny points out that there is a bit more info in the collectibles, uh, but I definitely the Jesse ready. storyline could have been set up better. Okay, so we'll pick up all your stuff. We do have to check how much uh, scrap and meat you have. You had 14 meats. Marcus is with us. Marcus Bone. Hey, hey Marcus. Uh, Ken says I've beaten it like seven times. But I stand hard two. I need the map. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Hard two is my favorite. Uh, my favorite difficulty. Oh, and Joe says that hug between Deacon Lisa yeah. is just so Poor fucking baby. intimate. Yeah. Yeah. So we still have our scrap, bounties, and meat. Uh, I don't hey. think I had any flowers, so they would probably be there as well. You did not. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But what we do get back is only a fraction of what we should have. So we grab this ammo here, and at least, if possible, refill some magazines before we pick up the other ammo. You're not going to let me equip the weapon? Oh, there we go. At last. 
Yeah, if you refill, if you reload your guns, you're able to pick up more ammo. Because it's like Deke has to put it in his pockets first before he'll load it into the gun. So if his pockets are full, he won't pick up any more. Yeah. Yeah, passion flowers. The schizo is salty that everyone likes Deke better than him. Joe says, well, maybe schizo should be more likable yeah. and less douchey. Try not being an asshole. Not to mention that even Ricky wants the deke and not the skiz. You need to heal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's more med kits there. So Captain he's... Caffeine is with us. Hey, Cap, what's going on, bud? Yeah, thank you, Cap, for that reminder. Just a reminder to everyone, switch to live chat. Make sure you are on live chat, not top chat, because top chat is stupid. The loss is coming. Ah. Boozer, you there? Search Boozer, if you can hear me. Look, it's Schizo. He sold me out. The Rippers. Boozer, hey, Sami Miser's with us. Richie, what's up, man? And the Who Fan. Who Fan, hello. When they revealed Carlos was Jesse, says the Who Fan, I had a Digimon Honsu in the Guardians of the Galaxy moment. Who? Dogbone, you're also on your seventh playthrough. Hard two. Right. Yeah, hard two has always been my favorite. Uh, Dub Rider says, don't forget to maybe do the Nero camp at the end of the tunnel. Oh, I do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I actually learned this one from uh, DMarlo310. Um, when you are leaving this mission right here, you go ahead and stop at the Nero checkpoint on the way back up. And that gives you a weapons locker to refill all of your guns, uh, refill your ammo with all of your guns, but also it gives you a fast travel point on the way back. You know, oh no, never mind. Why are you stopping to kill these guys? Just uh, for loot and stuff? Yeah, because they pissed me off by looking at me funny. And they may have gear on them. When you come back to this area in a bit, there's some loot up in the top. I wonder mm -hmm. if it's there and if it respawns or if it's only there during the mission. I think like this kind of stuff is still there. Some of it you can't get to. Like during right. this mission, if you try to go up there, you can't get to it. It tells uh, you you're leaving the mission area. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold up. The Who fan says, is Survival 2 just hard to without survival, survival vision or a map, or is it actually harder? The numbers are cranked up a little bit. Somebody did a breakdown of it uh, looking at the game files. The same guy who made that uh, list of when hordes spawn, the same Reddit user that made that list also made... Uh, sorry, hang on, I got up enemy movement here uh he also made a post about exactly what the differences are between each difficulty and really all i remember is that you know it, enemies actually do hit a little bit harder uh, really guys okay trying to talk and play at the same time fucking both of them up <laughs> I was saying I see you about that wolf at the same time that Ripper said it and shot me with a fucking shotgun. All right, oh, guys. Oh, oh, what's he? He's kneeling someone. He's kneeling to this cock, motherfucker. There. Fucking assholes. All right. <laughs> the wildlife in this game has the worst timing, says Drusilla. <laughs> Hey, James Guan is with us. James, what's up, man? Uh, Marcus says, yesterday I tried Bavarian rye. Germans can Ooh. actually make good whiskey. Oh my. I do love a good rye whiskey.
Okay. I love how given the tense music and the sort of impending doom, uh, the game is like trying to rush you back to Lost Light. Yeah, quick, but there's quick, quick, no quick, quick, timer. Quick, 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 quick. Everyone's going to be dead. Quick, quick, quick. And you're there like, do, do, do. Ooh, a flower. Ooh, <laughs> some mushrooms. Actually, I'm trying Ooh, to remember. Feel where dressed I, this. I'm trying to remember where I left my stolen motorcycle. It was, it's on, oh, it's not on the map. It was up to your left. It was up on that ridge. Of, I think it's over there. Yeah. And if you can get that way. Nine. All right, here we go. Wake is with us with a cookie monster emoji. I don't know what that is. All right. Uh, hello, Wake. I need my bike. Yes, yes, I do need my bike. Uh, James says, whoa, lots of people here tonight. What have yeah, I missed? Hello, everybody. Really glad to have y'all here with us tonight, folks. For real, thank you. I need my bike. Means a lot. We love sharing our passion for this game with this community. Let the freaks do the work. Exactly. Let's do that. <laughs> Your left as well. Mm -hmm. Love that skill. Mm -hmm. The Who fan says, This is my bike. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Uh, Ken says the stealth is still stellar. I don't know why I didn't get more credit for that. All those modified melee weapons, damn. Uh, Passion Blau says, get him, Rexy, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dub Rider says, are there rippers at the Nero camp? Yes. Carlos up while you're here. You know, I never interact with those. Oh, hang on. I'll interact with that shit, though. There we go. Okay. We have to say hi to Lexi Price. Hey, Lexi, hello. Uh, Lexi says, who else rides with the headlight off while playing? <laughs> this guy. Oh, right yeah. Here. Yep. Every time I get on the bike, it's like square and down. Turn that light off. Ken says, fuck those Carlos speakers. I gotta find a trail. Wake says, I wish they would do a sequel to Days Gone. And Jay Stabby says, all those damn rippers fucking around at my favorite gas station. That's your favorite one, Jay Stabby? That one always Shit, has a reacher there. Down. Always. I'm terrified of using this gas station. <laughs> it's my least favorite gas station. And in this moment, I realize I have a favorite and I have a least favorite. Yeah, right. CJ says, I kind of wish Jesse had lived so he could live on in a potential sequel as a looming threat. Yeah. Drew is in the headlights off the gang. Cap says, I usually do this Nero camp when I do the dam mission because there are no rippers during that time. But there are freaks there though, right? Move. It's happy says lots of loot. That dude just like jumped or fell or something. Ken says with a good weapon, reaches aren't too hard. It's the breakers that make me run. Oh, um, you have a pro tip, Rex, for dealing with the breakers. Uh, make them fucking easy as pie. 
Actually, a couple. One for the Reachers as well. That you, do you want to say those? you want me to say those? You focused? Uh, yeah, I got a lot of killing going on here. Um, I, what, just smoke bombs and executioner skill? Yeah. Yeah. I'll explain. <laughs> you go back to killing. Uh, so yeah, with the breakers, if you throw a flashbang or more reliably a smoke bomb, it will sort of stun them. They can't do anything for a minute. They just stand there going, oh, my eyes, and can't see you. And then if you have the executioner skill unlocked, uh, which you probably will have by the time you get to the breakers or close enough, um, you can just press triangle and stealth kill them. No problem. And then for reachers, a heavy melee weapon works best. The machete does not work very well, but anything like the uh, saw blade axe that uh, Rex has here, or the superior metal axe, the superior mace, things like that, they work really well against reachers. Just get in close and hammer the fucking shit out of them, <laughs> and they can't do anything about it. You don't need these. But yeah, the Reacher at the gas station always bothers me because I never see him coming and I stop and get gas and then suddenly there's a Reacher knocking me off the bike and then I'm dead. And it's like, oh, what the... If I'd known he was there, I would have got off and dealt with him, but I didn't know. I never seemed to know. Now I have you. You are lost. Ken says, how come at the end of the game there are like three breakers and it's so hard to kill them? Um... Do you mean the bit by the visitor center in um, Crater Lake? That one? Because there are like three or four that hang out around there. But yeah, you can totally stealth them. Uh, as long as you have the executioner skill. Which will have Rex pop up on screen in a minute just to show you where it is in the skill tree. Uh, but he's busy stabbing. Uh -uh. Flashing. Bashing. Killing. Capitating, murdering, mayheming. All right, now what the hell are we talking about? <laughs> could you, um, when you have a moment, could you uh, pop up the skill tree and show us the executioner skill, oh, please? Yeah, yeah, hang on. Uh, here we go. All right, so... I like how I'm the one giving the pro tips tonight. <laughs> like, <laughs> as you. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you're sharing my pro tips that I have shared. Uh, okay, yeah, so actually this is where we're headed anyway. What she's talking about right now is the skill, the Executioner skill. And uh, it is the ability to stealth attack heavy Freakers, uh, or I would say elite Freakers, but uh, it also adds the ability to kill heavy Freakers and large animals while escaping a grapple. So what it does specifically, uh, it allows you to get actual stealth kills on Breakers and reachers the two the more elite uh bipedal freakers uh and it also allows you the opportunity to do the kill escape from bears and ragers large animals uh so with this skill you can do uh some some pretty gnarly fucking stealth kills on some of the most dangerous enemies in the game and it gives you a, a grapple escape from the other most dangerous enemies in the game uh and if you couple this skill with smoke bombs which make uh the freakers vulnerable specifically breakers and ragers it makes them vulnerable for a moment you can literally run right up on them and stealth kill them even though they were aware of you i have a video well it's one of my shorts that just dropped this week that's uh doing that just running up to a breaker throwing a smoke bomb run straight up to the breaker stab him dead um i also have a funny video <laughs> The one time I managed to use the executioner skill on a rager bear, because you know it gives you the little triangle, um, the the little thing where you have to time it so that the um, what do you call that? You press Quick you have to press triangle at the right moment, whatever the fuck it is. It's not that, but whatever it's called. Mm. Um, I managed to do that on a rager, and um. I've lost my train of thought because you, ch you changed the volume and I can't hear myself. Uh, yeah, I managed to do that on a rager and um, was like so proud of myself because I killed a rager using the, the little, you know, stabby in the in the eye move. <laughs> and then I rolled to get away from an approaching wolf and fell off a cliff. It was very anticlimactic. Power's off, figures. All right. Yes, I... Let me turn the music down. It's just too much sound. It's uh, very distracting. 
There we go. Oh, now I, I was like going to mention breathe. that earlier that the music just never fucking stops and you play through this bit for like half an hour yeah. with the do 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 music. It's like, oh my God, I'm, calm down. Lost Lake is fine. I mean, it's not, but like, it's not going to get any worse. All right, so this this is one of the larger uh, Nero MMUs. This actually does have a few speakers here. So I do like to use the pro tip of following the lines. You find the generator, and then you just follow the lines. So we can see this line goes all the way over here and terminates at this set of lights, and there is no speaker up here. So we're good on this one. So we go ahead and track it back to the other sets of lines going off of it. Here's one here. We'll follow this one a little ways. And we can see that this line does terminate in a speaker right there. So knock that one down. You can also blow up that barrel. Yeah, uh, sometimes the explosives that are nearby... If you just want to be destructive, it's <laughs> yeah, right. no more efficient. But... Yeah, just one. Well, I guess it is more efficient. One bullet <laughs> where it takes <laughs> it, like two or three shots. But it may not always do it. Sometimes they're not quite positioned yeah. right to do it. Okay, and let's follow this line over here. And you can see it, ends in, it terminates in a uh, light pole that does have a speaker on it. So we'll eliminate that speaker. That's three of them right there. And then that leaves one going off here. Terminates at this light pole without a speaker. This one goes back this way to this building. When they come to a building, you do have to go around all four sides of the building. See, this is why I always cut them down with a knife. Or use a suppressed weapon to shoot yeah. them down. Because you're attracting freaks. Yeah. They just want to be a friend. Yeah. Uh, Dogbone, I want to answer Dogbone's question while you're doing this, yeah, if you don't up? mind. Uh, Dogbone says, in his late in this latest playthrough, I mostly chose melee upgrades to get executioner by the time I had to get to the and get the antibiotics, but it didn't work. He just automatically was alerted to me. I had the same mm -hmm. thing happen, and it's weird with that specific breaker. It's a little twitchy. Uh, I forget. I did it my first time on this playthrough. And I think the trick was um, you have to be right behind him. If you approach from an angle, he sees you. It's like he is um, extra sensitive. But it was really fucking easy the second time I did it. But the first time, my first playthrough I did where I was getting executioner skill before that mission, it took me about four tries, I think, because he just kept seeing me. I'm like, I know how to kill a breaker with the executioner skill skill like that's the only way i ever kill breakers why is this not working um but it was like i was trying to use smoke bombs and stuff like that and it, he just kept seeing me and he wouldn't stay stunned uh but if you approach while he's eating on the ground or whatever um approach directly from behind and you can get him done ruben is with us hello hey, ruben. ruben hi Here we go. Busted. Uh, Ken? Which mission are you talking about, Ken? Is this, do you remember the mission where you have to go into the cave and there are several runners? I find yes. that harder than really? reaches right. and runners. Yes, yeah, so the dead coyote together. cave, whatever. Oh, okay, yeah. There we go. And that's the only reason I was waiting to heal, because I know there are plenty of healing items in here. Just wasn't sure exactly what would be available. Uh, there's usually at least one bandage and one med kit in these uh, Nero places. Uh, but also another reason I like to unlock this on the way back to Lost Lake is for the ammo locker. <laughs> Dandy Denny says he is the original breaker. Maybe he's special. And I thought so, too. Maybe it's like the boss battle version right. is scripted, but it's the same enemy. All it's doing is introducing the same enemy. It shouldn't be any different than, you know, the versions of that enemy you find out in the wild. And yet. And yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it is, a, like you say, like a boss battle version or something. Do. Alpha Breaker, says Cap. Yeah, there you go. That's the one. 
Oh, the Who fans did. Yeah, the Dead Coyote Cave was actually pretty scary yeah, in survival. Yeah, it's pretty fucking rough. Yeah. Agreed. Every time I do that, I'm, I go in thinking, I'm not going to be scared. And then I get like a few minutes in. And yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like okay, scared. I'm scared. I've yeah. been eaten like six times. <laughs> All right, where did I park that Ripper bike at? Ah, uh, shit. All the way down probably... by the gas station, I think. Mm, uh, did you drive yeah. it up? Oh, hello. I drove up a little ways, but it, it, it may have actually despawned by now. Fuck. I left it about right in here somewhere, I thought. I thought it was further back. Oh, well. I can live without it. We're not that far off. Uh, turn around, Rex, back by the rock, says Joe. Yeah, you did leave it by the gas station. There it is. I told you. Yeah, all right. He's the OB and the original breaker. <laughs> Cap says, this is like me trying to remember where I parked at the mall during Christmas yeah. shopping. <laughs> it was by that house. This is it. Should have never let Schizo talk me into that shit. Should have never let Schizo talk me into that shit. How the hell did I let Schizo get the drop on me? What's this? Now, there's a pipe bomb in this box as well. Let me check and see if we even need it. We probably do since we just had so much of our gear taken. Yeah. Uh, in order to get this pipe bomb here, <clears throat> you have to actually like step in the box. And if you just change the, your positioning in relation to the box, you can pick up that pipe bomb also. Should have done more than burn your tad off, Jesse. Should have slit your goddamn throat. All right, let's get back to Lost Lake. Almost there. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Schizo's on his way with rippers. Do you read me? Does anybody read me? Lost Lake. Damn it! There. I'm glad that cutscene finally started. <laughs> ah, Boozer. Are you there? Ricky, Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deacon. Yeah, it's me. Holy shit, PFP, I just Wait, saw that. 56 folks watching, holy shit. Welcome to the Bear Trap Tribe. Everybody, Deacon, welcome I've in. I've sent riders to find you. Ricky, the Rippers are after Damn glad to have y'all here with us tonight. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, don't shoot, it's Deacon. Our Mike sent us to find you. Rippers! Keep going, I'll keep them off you. 
This is one that I never know when it gives me control back until you actually start drifting off the road. It's like, oh, okay, I guess I'm supposed to be driving now. away for a second I'm back now what hidden loot did you find I see comments to that hidden loot oh there's a hidden loot location up there uh on the way back from there. you guys ride to the east Iron gate Butte. you got that the, the little bridge. pass right where you and Schizo go up go in the to the pass the, the one with the tents you yeah when you're coming back out that way there's a hidden loot location up there what were the hey, comments oh no no I'm just uh Joe saying holy hidden loot oh all right, here we go. Yeah, Cap, I agree. That location is absolutely critical after losing all your stuff. No more guns. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Wait, shh, shh. Please. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Come on. Okay. Come on. Okay. Right. Right. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Now, listen, listen. Look at me. Look at me. I'm looking for Boozer and Schizo. Do you know them? Do you know where they are? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, everything just happened so, so fast. They, they, were, they were everywhere. They... Yeah, this bit is so hectic, man. The camp, and they were torturing us. They, yeah. they took me. They, they took Chad and Eric and Slim. Hey, listen, what's your okay. name? There's really a lot going on in this part. Well, I probably should have equipped my auto shotgun. Yeah, why does Jesse and the Ripper sound like yeah. a punk rock oh, yeah, band? Yeah. See that tower up there? I want you to go up there. I want you to lay down. If any rippers come through here, you blow the goddamn heads off. I'm gonna go find your friends. Okay? Good. Uncle Jesse's band in full house. Oh yeah, right. Jesse and the Rippers. Yeah, I forgot about that. Are you on the path? Yeah, there's a couple of ways you can play this one. I generally try to take out as many as I can with suppressed weapons. Whenever possible. Shit, why are we already injured? I guess we got injured on the bike ride here, maybe? That blows. The idiot Ripper just burned himself to death over here. You are able to pick up quite a lot of loot here. Oh, shoot, there's a bandage right there. I love that line there. I'm not letting any more of these assholes kill my people, he says. My people. I know there's a Ripper Heavy that spawns down there with an MG45 here pretty soon. Won't 
be needing this. What the? I had my pistol up for a reason. Because I needed to get that headshot before it's too late. That is a timed event. If you don't kill that dude in time, uh, it'll end the mission. Know Nicole, right? All right, listen to me. Head west to the footbridge. She's up in the watchtower. You go there, you help her. No, I don't want any more rippers coming in through the marsh. You got it? You're a godsend. I was praying so hard. Good. Then go. Go! Yeah, I love it when the kamikaze right, rippers cool. drop dead before mind. they get close to you. My favorite thing to do is shoot them in the legs while they're running at you. Especially if you have a shotgun handy. Because a shotgun does a lot of stagger damage. So if you're shooting them in the legs with a shotgun, it just stops them dead in their tracks. And you just have to... You may have to put a couple of rounds in them, you know. You're shooting them in the legs with a shotgun. It's not doing that much damage. But it slows them down where they're, uh, you know... They're uh, Ricky, where's Boozer? Where's taking lots of fire damage while they're running towards you. I'm sorry, Schizo I was just looking at Boozer. what's going on with these fucking corpses down here, man. Hang on. Eh, fucked these guys up. God damn. Yeah. Wow. That's uh, fucking brutal. Where? Anyway. Where, Ricky? I, Deke, Rippers, they're breaking into the infirmary. Damn it. Hold on, I'm heading there now. Wait for me. Deacon? No! Oh, damn it, Ricky. I gotta get to the infirmary. Okay, so that's why I want to get behind that rock as quick as I can. I know there is a uh, heavy. And I think he pretty much spawns with eyes on you already. If I come around this rock, he's already shooting at me. So I like to take him out from behind cover if possible. Oh, there's another one. He brought friends. I do like making, I do like shooting them and making them drop their Molotovs and pipe bombs and stuff. I love doing that stuff. There's a sniper up here on top of this bus. I like to take him out early whenever I can. He can cause problems for you later. We can get up here now. I never thought about trying this during this mission. Maybe we can get up here and put this sniper rifle to use. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Not moving. Oh, I hope that's a Molotov guy down there. No, not a Molotov guy. Okay, never mind. Oh, wait, wait. No, get me off this ladder, man. This may not be such a great spot, actually. It's a good idea, but not a great spot. It's kind of like using that hotel for the Kimolt train station horde. Oh, 
Oh shit. Thought I had him for a second there. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of like using that hotel for the Kimult train station horde. It can work well for you, but it can also cause problems because you get up there and you get stuck with very few options. Like here, I can't really get line of sight on them very well unless they're in very specific locations. But honestly, I feel like it's not really helping me all that much. I feel like it's holding me back more than it's helping. It's cool that you could get up here and use elevation like this, but it's not really working out that well. I guess I can use a med kit for like, what, seven points of damage or something? Yeah, why not? There's a free one right there. Let's go. Oop. More loot over here. Oh, I bet it's the guy on top of the bus. Can I get up there to him? The sniper that's up there on the top of the bus. He got up there. I guess maybe from the front of the bus. That should work. No? I mean, you may have seen something. There you are. All right. And then this asshole downrange here. Uh, come on, Junior. Quit missing. There we go. Give me one more like it. <laughs> oh man, that, that standing on that fucking ledge messed up my melee attack. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Oh, shit, that was wicked. You see the way she was backing away? Whoa. Okay, that was kind of cool. All right. Let's keep going forward. Yeah, and I wasn't able to get up on top of the bus. That's weird. I know there's a corpse up there with some loot. Sniper rifle suppressor. Okay. Yeah, that guy's taken care of. I just heard somebody else set themselves on fire. I kind of assumed they were running at me. But if not, that's all the better. Okay, I think we're just about done here. Yep. There it Time is. to go ahead and trigger the cutscene. Don't let her go. Please, don't. You're all lost. Oh, Borslav, no, you heading no, out, no, man? No. All right, brother, take it easy. We will see you soon, sir. someone yelling I just, I just couldn't let him die wait, wait 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 hold up hold up what the hell was that <gasps> it's over yeah iron mike negotiated a ceasefire wait what what the iron hell is mike going on Let's negotiated go a ceasefire Man, i'm sorry about everything oh god me too 
After the air horn, I'm popping off shots. <laughs> <This is all laughs> yeah. What, Coach blew the whistle? Is it, we're all just supposed character. to stop now? Murdered my people. You call that a misunderstanding? You broke our tree. Yeah, you call you that a misunderstanding? You steal our supplies. You attack it. You kill my people. Mike, listen to me. I made a deal. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I made a deal, he says. Hi, Skizzo. I'd like to hear about that deal. God damn it. Yeah. Wait. Why don't you tell him? Wait. Tell him how you sold us out to them. Uh, what the hell do you want? Oh, fucking god damn it, Skizzle. Why don't you tell him or I'm gonna cut your throat? Yeah, Deacon's okay. just done with the bullshit okay. and all the scheming. Like, no, man, just fucking come clean and tell Iron Mike what you did. I made a deal with Carlos. Okay? Yeah, Mike in with that punch Mike. that everybody wants to throw. Here it comes. But it wasn't. It wasn't to sell out the camp. I swear. It was just them. The two just of them. Just the two of him them. The Not the whole camp. All that he wants. Just them. Yeah, how's that deal working out for you? I did it to uh -huh. How is that working out for I you? Did it to fix Tell shit him or to I will cut your throat. Broke. Yeah. Yes. Mike. Mike. It's good to see you breathing. But let him go. What? Deke. What? <laughs> Okay. Okay, so is what he says true about you making a deal? Only lost tell lies. Yeah. It's true. <coughs> okay. So we give you Deke, William, biker boats, whatever the fuck you want to call them. But you leave Lost Lake alone. You will rest in peace. You have my word. Mm -hmm. And that's something, isn't it? Your word. We trust the grand fucking poobah of the R.I.P. Hey, 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 we come here under a flag of truth. <laughs> Truce my ass! This is my camp. My people. You don't come here with some blood-stained flag of truce and demand shit! Right. Not from me! Now, I don't care what you think these boys have done. I don't care why you want them. All I know is you're not getting them. <coughs> Mike, please. We had a deal. No, this is the deal. Mm -hmm. Carlos. You made a deal, It's the only one you're you getting. You made a deal. Now you take your people and you get the hell out of Lost Lake. The hell out of here. Or we all die together. Right here. Right now. Just like Sherman's camp. Which is what Iron Mike has been trying to avoid Treat the whole stands. fucking time. But the young head, the young hotheads, Deacon and Schizo, and I guess you should say Carlos as well, stirring up trouble left and right, front, right, and center. I know, Dandy Denny, I agree. And you can see Boozer was like, wait, what? <laughs> A second ago when uh, Mike was, you know, asking questions, you could see Boozer was like, wait, no way, no way, man. <clears throat> Hey, uh, we ain't through, Carlos. Get low, brother. Deke, <laughs> stand aside. Stand aside! Mike, look, I, I just want to say... Bam! There we go. That's the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, fuck that. We'll take care. Get off him! Yeah, we'll take care of him. I keep trying to tell you boys something. And you won't listen. This is not how we do things around here. We do not barter with lives, and we do not murder people in cold blood. Get him out of here. Get off me. We're going to give him a fair trial, like civilized people. And he's going to get what's coming to him. I'm not sorry, Mike. I'm not. God damn it, I tried. I tried to save his camp. The Rippers won't stop. Carlos is not going to stop. You hear me? They won't stop. <laughs> you got knocked a fuck out. What's up, colorful soldiers? Mm -hmm. Welcome yeah, in, man. How's it going? At the end of the world wasn't enough to keep him busy. He was after some payback as well. That motherfucking son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I'm guessing he's known about us for quite some time. That night at Crazy Willie, is that what All right, so hey, folks, we're seeing some pretty high numbers tonight. I just want to, I just want to say, I really appreciate y'all being here with us tonight. I think we have hit a uh, a new high for this channel. Is it 56? Uh, people viewing it once. Um, that's that's fucking incredible. And I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, folks, while you're here with me, make sure that you do hit like on the video. Um, that's one easy way that everybody can help uh, to help this channel to grow. Little things like that, like hitting like on the video. Coming into the comment section later, like after this live stream is over, let's say you can't make the stream for whatever reason. Or let's say you were here in the stream right now. Later on, when the stream is done, pop up in the comment section and leave a quick comment on there. The likes, the comments, things like that. It's not just the views and ad revenue, but the likes and the comments. They basically tell YouTube that I like what I'm seeing. I want to see more of it. It shows YouTube that people are interacting with the video and they like what they're seeing. Uh, and then there's a higher chance that the videos will be recommended to others. So that's one real easy way that y'all can help the community grow. Another way that we can help this community to grow is buymeacoffee.com. I actually, as a content creator, I actually really like Buy Me A Coffee. I like the way that their user interface is set up on my end. It's easy for me to work with. Um, but also, it's one of the companies where I get the biggest cut. Uh, what so what happened? that means is if you are contributing money to your favorite yeah, entertainers through buy me a coffee, and more Carlos of that money is going where you're trying to put it. Uh, so yeah, that's okay, one great, great reason for using buy me a coffee right there, but you can I'm do well, one-time contributions. Those are always appreciated. We fucking love it. Uh, it really does help us get the hardware and the software that we need to make this a pro channel go. we cannot do that shit without viewer Deacon, contribution wait. uh it that's the All best right, way Ricky, to help the channel grow later, right, right there buymeacoffee.com slash sponicus rex we also have some pretty kick-ass merch man y'all actually should check out the merch i'm not even just plugging our merch i'm just telling you this is good shit uh Claire and I both have several of the shirts. We wear them all the fucking time. Uh, we've gotten a lot of really positive feedback from uh, our viewers who have bought the shirts, uh, specifically the shirts, but we've gotten a lot of positive feedback from everybody that's bought the merch. It's good stuff, man. I really think y'all are going to like it. Take a look at it. See what you find on there. Something on there. Anybody who's a fan of the Days Gone, of the Days Gone game, anybody who's a fan of our community and our live streams, there's something in there that you'll think is funny. Go for it. Um, let's see. Also on buymeacoffee.com, the memberships start at a buck, man, a buck a month. Um, and that's really the best way to help the channel grow there is the, the consistency with monthly members. It's like, we know we have X amount coming in. We can start to budget for, okay, we can put this money into this project and put this money into this project. Uh, it's, it's just one of those things that I guess provides you some can. stability as you. well. So yeah, please do take a look at that stuff. The likes, the comments, the views, the ad revenue, it's all fucking fantastic and it does help. Viewer contribution is really where it's at. Uh, it's, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I, honestly, guys, I get tired of going on about this stuff. I, this isn't me, but... It's, it is what it is. It's the nature of the beast. We know how these things work. We know how the entertainment industry in general works. Your contribution is where it's where it's at. We we can't keep doing this full time without your contribution. You guys are making this possible, and we appreciate every fucking penny of it. Every single fucking person, especially especially these bad motherfuckers right here. Our current channel members for the Spawnicus Rex channel are in no particular order, just the order they're written down on my whiteboard here. Alex, Zylog DNB, Captain Caffeine, Basics of Pain, Borislav 24-7, Sarah Monster, Floyd Rocker, James Guan, Jay Stabby, Catherine Jones, Hani Yokashe, Obscured by Ink, <gasps> Anton G, W.D. Henderson, Tom Moose, Quasimoto, Dogbone, Tom the Juice Box, Jameson, and CJ Voorhees. Fuck, I ran out of breath twice in that one. This <sighs> is getting too long, man. <laughs> For real. Thanks, guys. No bullshit. Thank you. All right. 
Where are we at? What are we doing? What do we have available to us now? We have successfully made it back from Ripper territory. And, oh, here we go. Okay, so we have three things right here in the camp. We're going to go taunt our bro, Schizo. We're going to go, um, uh, oh, we're going to go inside his cabin. But really, there's not enough hand sanitizer in the world to make that one okay. And uh, we're also going to do this bit here. Uh, I think we're going to save that for last. Absolute very first thing we have to do is slide out here and grab hey, our bombs if they are still there. Remember, before we took off for this mission, we made sure to drop all of our uh, placeable items. Uh, any mines, bombs, things like that that you can simply place on the ground. This is, radio this is everything I had on me the at the time. Not today, Cope. Yeah, Grown-ups no. are talking. Maybe uh, anyway, this is everything I had on me at the time, so at least I did not lose those items. Y'all know me. I'm generally full up on just about fucking everything. I'm now low on grenades. Um, I'm missing pipe bombs and the materials to craft them with. Uh, missing fucking Molotovs and the materials to craft them with. Um, I didn't have any of these to start. When did I? Oh, yeah, I picked up one of those recently. Um, missing crafting materials. You know, that's really one of the things that pisses me off the most. I lost six fucking attractor bombs on this mission and four attractors. I still have some smoke. I think I picked up a couple of smoke bombs. But anyway, I just, it just fucking makes me furious. I hate it hey, when video games pull here. that shit where they do a mission that steals oh, all your gear. Uh, it just breathing. pisses me the fuck off. Huh. So I try to find little ways to get around that. Meat. Things like putting your placeable sure? items in a safe spot on uh, here. Uh, here real soon, uh, not tonight, but real soon, we'll make a trip around all the hidden loot locations. Uh, and that will help us replenish our gear after this mission as well. Uh, most of you will already know this, but the hidden, lo hidden loot locations video is on my channel. Uh, you'll find that under my early game best start guide. Uh, there's a playlist with all that kind of stuff in there. It's in one playlist. Um, so you, you can find the video there that shows all of Days Gone's hidden loot locations that I currently know of. <laughs> oh, Joe. Uh, no, actually, Claire hasn't been feeling too good the last few days, man. I think she was just ready to call it a night. She kind of, she looked at me and she was just like, I'm done. I was like, wow. Um, all right, babe, go get some rest. Ah, Ryan Haney. We need to say hello to Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Hello and welcome in. Mm. And let's see. I was at work. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't mind when a game takes your stuff as long as you get it back, man. Unfortunately, you you don't get some of it in Days Gone. But check this out. We're like what, maybe less than four hundred fucking trust points from. Uh, less than 400 trust from level 3 here. We don't get any trust for these missions, do we? I don't think so. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think there are... There are no hordes left anywhere, so I can't go collect any bounties easily. Ah, good. I don't know what we could do to get some trust quick and easy here. Let's run by the frat houses. You know, I want to see if there's any survivors at the frat I'm houses. Good shit stock today. Buzz, how you doing? This thing. All right, I got you. Okay. Completely broken. Actually, I'm gonna swap weapons too. I do want to. Uh... Should have new shit later. Stop by. Well, no, I'm gonna keep the US five five six for a little while. I actually really like the US five five six. I'm a big nerd for the auto shotgun. We all know that. Good to see you. But I have been on a kick here lately where, where I've wanted a more precise today. primary weapon. Now that's an upgrade. Really just kind of switching things go. up just for the hell of it. Mm, that should work. Uh, good choice. Good one. Now at least I can buy yep. some of these to replace them. Uh, yep. Uh, hey, Deke. Be safe. Hey, D, let me get the game. See if we can hit level three tonight before we shut this down.
All right, so also need to put out a hey, reminder. Hey, um, when you get time, swing by the camp. I need to talk to you. That's what we need right there. Hey, Ricky. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll be by. Deacon out. Uh, let's not go that way on second thought. Uh, yeah, let's go pick up this uh, bounty job or whatever this camp job is that's coming up here. Assholes? Nah, that's cool. Anyway, I wanted to put out the reminder, um, my schedule and lineup of games has changed a little bit. Uh, the schedule is now going to be 7 p.m. Mountain Time. All of my streams that I do will start 7 p.m. Mountain Time. That's consistent across all streams. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday is now Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Mon uh, Wednesday and Friday, this day's gone. And then every other Saturday, Claire and I are doing our collaborative live stream. So it's, oh, uh, hello, ma'am. I don't think either one of you is supposed to go like that, but okay. Hey, Ricky, what's up? Mitchell and a couple guys were on a run northwest yeah, you're, of here. Dear, you're supposed to be standing over drifters. here on this side of your bike? Them back to a camp what, north it's okay, of never mind. Lake. Okay, so Mitchell and the others, they didn't take them out? They're not drifters, Deke. The and SWAT just a 10, kid. really? I, I never used he, that one. It, it kind of seemed a like a really weak what weapon the hell to are me. They doing out in this shit? Look, I need you Is it really that good? I've never really tested Lost it. Lake needs you. Anton okay, G, okay. what's going on, man? I'll take care of it. Hey, we were just Thank talking you. about you. Just giving a shout out to my channel members. Okay, so we have this mission now. This should get us to uh, level three. Fire and Mike's camp. Oh, Dub Rider, are you talking about just to get some extra bounties and stuff? Go out and farm bounties at night? That's one way to do it. Took out your first horde with the SWAT 10 and it made you love it. Okay, I see. Not enough control with the SWAT 10. Yeah, the US 556 is, is only, for the type of weapon it is, it's only surpassed by the IDF pup. I got it. Is that runners? Well, there's a the road two years ago. We would have gone splat. get any of those deer you got oh okay yeah we got one or two of them i want this one too both of them Is this the first night that 9 p.m. isn't kicking my ass? <laughs> oh, right. I didn't mean to pick up those stupid little sticks. I was trying to get the deer meat. Actually, I, I am liking the new schedule. I really am. Um, because 7 to 9 is a better time for me. I'm less tired. Uh, and shit, really, it allows me to go a little longer, you know? I mean, we've already hit the two-hour mark, and I'm, I'm okay. I can go for a little bit longer. I can go long enough to, uh, you know, probably finish up this camp job and get to uh, Gotta take a level three look. with Lost Lake. <laughs> I saw that little head rolling off. Pistol-wise, the PDW is your favorite. Yeah, the SMP9 is a beast. Yeah, the uh, the PDW personal defense weapon is an excellent fucking pistol. Uh, even the real-world pistol that it's based on is just super fucking cool. Um, 
high magazine capacity, very flat shooting, um, just very, very fine weapon. <coughs> and in the game, uh, they did a good job with it. Okay, that's all the little bounties nearby and the deer meat and everything. I used to run the, uh, the mayor for my sidearm for a long time. It pairs well with, like, the Chicago Chopper and the BFG. Uh, and then the mayor is your sidearm. Mayor is one of the best, one of the best weapons for shooting from the bike. Uh, it, it'll kill damn near everything. You know, I mean, like wolves and runners, you know, things that chase you. It'll kill, kill damn near all of them and one or two hits guaranteed every time. Ricky, I'm at Malakwa Lake. Yeah, there's a camp full of drifters here. Can you handle them? Uh, yeah, I got this. Deacon out. Set up camp in Lost Lake territory. Had the run of the place. What? Murderers and thieves, the lot of you. Oh, come on. Time to clear this camp. Where are you hiding? Huh? I know where you're at. Well, oh, then come get him. some. <laughs> Still want some? <laughs> well, they can't make up their minds. Do you want some or not? Now that was two in the neck. That bitch did. Now there's reinforcements. Nice. Where did the reinforcements come from? They come from across the bridge? Yeah, they come from over that way. All right. That's all of them. That's all of them. Of course it is. Let's go ahead and change position. Kill the son of a bitch! Oh. 
Drifter. Yeah, this sniper is pissing me off. See, I knew that first shot wasn't going to be a headshot, but I was still happy with a body shot because it would stagger him and prevent him from firing at me. All right. Shouldn't be very many of them left. One more. Uno mas. There he is. Ah, dang it. Junior. Okay. Now ah, you're pissing me off. And a fucking bear trap killed me. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Bear trap tried indeed. Motherfucker. Killed the last one as I stepped in a bear trap and died. Yeah, I got this sneaking out. So pro tip, don't step in the bear traps. They hurt. <laughs> God damn it. Right, check this one out over there, just fucking spaced out. What are you doing, dude? All right. All right, boys. What, you thought you just set up camp in Lost Lake territory? Had to run the place? Oh. and thieves, the lot of you. <laughs> Y'all stop laughing at that. That ain't funny. <laughs> Much. What? Yep. Finally. Oh, there's another one. There's two of them over there. Damn it. And there's the reinforcements. Nice. Well, okay then. Time to go loud. Junior. Well, now that should have been a headshot. That one really should have been a headshot. We're getting close now. It's only two more left. I see one right there. There. Where's that last one? I hear you. Over there. I see you. Got it. Now we almost got a level up out of that. Did we get? Yes. We got to level three trust with Iron Mike's camp. Hoorah! <sighs> and we didn't die to a bear shot. trap this time. Uh, Ricky, it's done. I cleared out the camp full of drifters north of Malacqua Lake. <sighs> Thanks, Deke. I'll let Iron Mike know. I'll be sure to let Mitchell know it's safe to play outside again. He's just a kid, Deke. 
Yeah, well, if he wants to live long enough to become an adult, he better start learning how to use a gun. Yeah, you're right. I'll start working with him. Thanks, Deke. Oh, wait, I can't craft because why? No berries. I can do this, though. There we go. I just used one, didn't I? God damn it. Dang it, Junior. Give me the fuck out of here. Let's go. I don't need any of this shit anyway. There? This is Lost Lake. Come in. Hey, Mike. What's up? Oh, where did this... Ricky told oh. me you took care of that drifter camp. North of Malacqua Lake? Yeah, they won't... Uh, I thought it was another uh, marauder. I was like, wait hey, a minute. Mike, he just cleared them all. kid, Mitchell, he really shouldn't be going out on runs unless he can take care of himself. Yeah. God damn it. I'll take care of it. Thanks, Deke. Iron Mike out. Okay, and this one we don't have to return to camp to turn it in or whatever. Uh, but I do want to go back to camp and reap the yeah, rewards yeah. of hitting level me. three. Sniper on the road. Oh, God damn it. Oh, there's the sniper. We found him. How many we lose? We're good. Son of a All right, let's get this fucking sniper. There he is. Now, I like to shoot the platform out from and under them. You like that asshole? I guess you won't be ambushing anyone else. One reason is it's really funny to watch him ragdoll like that. But another thing is, if you just shoot the sniper up in the tree, sometimes they will actually get stuck in the tree and you can't get the loot off of them. Now, that's really not that big of a loss most of the time, but it is what it is. Uh, if you want to loot that corpse, the best thing you can do is shoot them out of the tree so that they fall and you can always get their loot. Now, this is one thing that I know this is a little bit controversial. Some people have told me they think it's dumb. I think it's the best way to do it myself. I would only use like one piece of scrap. You know, like if your bike is re reduced to zero, and you have plenty of credits at the nearby camps, don't waste scrap to repair your bike. Just fucking fast travel and pay the shop to repair it. I've got plenty of credits there. I, I don't see any reason to use scrap for that when I can just pay the mechanic to fix it to 100% and spend a few credits. Using one scrap will repair it enough that you can fast travel back hey, to camp. Alright, let's see what bike upgrades we have. Deacon St. John, how have you been? Buzz, how's a camper's life? Level 3 saddlebags, yeah! yeah. Now, this frame doesn't do anything for durability. It's purely cosmetic. Not spending money on that. Also purely cosmetic. And that's it. All we needed was saddlebags. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Let's go ahead and go to the merchant first. Uh, let's see. So. Deke. <laughs> How's my favorite bounty hunter? So, we now How's have access to the player? level 3 weapons here. Uh, I'll say honorable mention goes to the Liberator. It's an excellent shotgun. If you like it, cool. Have fun with it. Uh, the only weapons that I purchased from Lost Lake Camp are the two sniper rifles. At level 1, I purchased the C8. At level 3, we I purchased the Talon 7. These are the only weapons so that I need from Lost Lake. Uh, and then I will fill up everything here. We just go ahead and fill yeah, everything good. off of this. No big deal. Yep. Okay, and then get the magazine upgrade for go. the Talon 7. Yep. And that's whatever nice. else you can buy. Mm, that should work. Now that's an upgrade. Uh, good choice. And now we can purchase okay. grenades here, too, and that's fun. Yeah, good. Yep. Uh, good choice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, level three with Iron Mike's camp, and right. we have everything we want from here. Word. 
Okay, so that's a pretty good place to shut it down, I think. Uh, on Friday evening, remember now, Days Gone Expert yeah, Gameplay is going to be Wednesday and Friday, 7 to 9 p.m. Mountain Time. So on Friday, we'll be picking up right here, wrapping up these missions that we have left in the Lost Lake area. Uh, all right. Yeah, Joe, thanks for putting those links in there, buddy. Uh, again, folks, man, y'all know why the links are there. You know what it is. You know how this business model works. Uh, viewer contribution, man. That's where it's at. Consider jumping in there and uh, doing a one-time contribution. You want to throw a little money in the tip jar? Hell, if you watch this channel a lot, maybe consider becoming a member and helping us grow some more. Anyway, uh, I fucking love you guys. This has been awesome. I think we've actually seen the highest numbers that I've had on my channel so far. So again, thank you everyone who's been a part of that. Uh, and I am going to call it an evening. You will see Claire tomorrow morning on her channel playing some days gone first thing tomorrow morning and then tomorrow evening on my channel we're doing assassin's creed valhalla thor's day again 7 to 9 p.m mountain time love you guys i'm out good night Hey, dude, I got it.